guys welcome back to my channel i'm vanessa from crafty elvira and in today's video i'm going to show you how to make this lovely spiral i'm going to use this cinch by we are memory keepers some i don't know what these are called pliers a binding half an inch notebook paper and I'm going to use this paper pad collection that I've been having in my room for a while. It's Wood, Marble, and Brass by Recollections, and I bought it at Michael's. So right now I'm just going to go through the pa pages and pick my cover and the back for my spiral. So I'm going to use this whole package for my notebook. It's 150 sheets and it's wide ruled. And it gives you the measurements 10 and a half by eight. So I'm going to cut both of these at 10 and a half by eight. So I'm going to use my Martha Stewart paper cutter. First, I'm going to get rid of get rid of this little white strip. So I'm going to cut this at eight and a half. I'm sorry, I'm going to cut it at eight. And then cut this at 10 and a half. So this is gonna be my front and this is going to be my back. Now I said I wanted to cut, decorate the front just a little bit because I'm going to laminate them so I know I want some gold and I wanted this wood sign paper hmm I think I want the gold so I'm going to cut this with the gold I'll use a strip that I have from the scraps that I had over here and I'm going to cut this at 8. So this is what I have left and I'm just going to put this inside my paper pad collection so that, since I still have a lot I'm just going to put it inside. So when next time I use it, I know that I have some scraps that go with this paper pad in here. So now I just have to figure out the way that I want my spiral to be. So I'm going to go ahead and tape it. And I'm using my ATG gun. So this is my front and this is my back. And to make it more durable, I'm going to go ahead and laminate them. This is my laminating spot. I'm going to laminate my front and my back. So let me go get my, pouch my pouches.
I'm going to trim off just a bit. You want to leave a quarter of an inch. So the bottom is perfect, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit on the sides. Okay guys, so I have my front and my back. I'm gonna cut the corners and round them off just a bit so they won't be so pointy. So this notebook paper obviously already has three hole punches but that won't bother me if it bothers you you can go ahead and buy just regular copy paper so this is the cinch and it's going to punch holes on your paper i like pulling it all the way to the back and i'm going to pull you know this little space right here i'm going to pull this one that way it doesn't punch a hole at the very top and it's such an awkward spot to have a hole. And I'm just gonna press all the way down. And there's the holes. Now I'm going to flip this. I'm going to connect it again. And go ahead and pull this one and press down. going to repeat the process with the rest of my notebook paper So now comes the covers. Since you want to line them up to your notebook paper, I like to use this as a template. So just, you know, use it as a template. Line it up. And just press it. And you can just flip this over. Alright, now this is where your little binding comes in handy and you want to put it to the side of the cinch like this. Put all your notebook paper on the holes. So now this is the trick part. First is your front cover. So 
So do your front cover the way that it's supposed to go. And then your back cover, flip it over. So that when you open it, it goes on its back. So right before you put it on inside, you want to trim away the extra wires that we don't need. And this is one inch, so your cinch should be at one inch. And you want to put this against it, making a C. And then you just press down. So now, when you take it out, it should look like this. So now your back, you flip it over. And this is your front. And this is my new spiral that I just made. So you can see. It works just fine, and this is the back, and it's super cute. So, if you like today's video, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get notified every single time I post a new video. And I'll be back with another crafty video, guys. Peace.